James River Old Town. Most everyone in this area knows the mill. It makes some of the most popular paper products in America. Company managers say quality and production are increasing. That is happening, they say, because of a company-wide commitment to making the best possible product. But beyond getting an excellent product to the supermarkets of America, there's another commitment James River takes very seriously. Maintaining the least possible impact on the environment. Among other things, that includes treating the mill's wastewater. This treatment process for the protection of the environment generates a byproduct called sludge. It looks like potting soil. It's what's left over after going through the company's wastewater treatment facility. Many, many years ago, this material went into the river. Since 1979, it has been disposed of here. But a couple things have happened. James River has run out of space, and new environmental regulations do not allow the company to expand at this site. The old landfill built by Diamond International does not provide for maximum protection of the environment as required by current environmental laws. So months ago, the company assembled a team of environmental experts to begin planning for a state-of-the-art landfill, one complete with a thick liner to prevent liquid from the landfill seeping into the ground. The team has identified a superior site that meets state and federal regulations and provides for maximum protection of the environment. The site is in West Old Town, near Interstate 95, off Route 16. James River has acquired 720 acres here. Of that, only 100 acres deep in the woods will be used for the landfill. Company officials expect many questions about the plans for this land. They are committed to providing you with answers. We'll explain how the engineering consultants chose the West Old Town site and why they say it's ideal for a secure landfill. We'll show you a similar state-of-the-art landfill and how it works. And we'll try to answer your questions as to whether a landfill will have a significant impact on the quality of life in West Old Town. Long before the company focused on the West Old Town site, it began studying these. The regulations from the Maine Department of Environmental Protection which govern modern landfills. These rules assure maximum protection of the environment. For example, the greatest concern is over the protection of groundwater and the surrounding environment. The regulations say the landfill cannot be built over an aquifer. It must not pose a hazard to groundwater. It must be more than 1,000 feet from the nearest residence. It cannot endanger threatened wildlife. As a further protection, the landfill can only be built on soils that naturally inhibit seepage. The soils at West Old Town best meet this purpose. Sludge from the mill is 60 to 80 percent water. A state-of-the-art landfill is designed to prevent any of that liquid and rainwater from leaching into the ground. Consulting engineers examined the soil and groundwater of 67 different sites within a 20-mile radius of the mill. Engineer Peter Mahar headed the survey. After exhaustive study of all 67 sites, he says West Old Town is best because of the natural upward movement of the groundwater. Also, test borings show a type of soil called glacial till that is 21 to 77 feet beneath the site, two to seven times more thick than any other site evaluated. You can see how tightly compacted the glacial till is. Water can hardly pass through it. I think that the most important uh, thing that will protect the the groundwater is the the relatively impervious soils the upward moving groundwater from the deeper systems to the towards the surface in addition to the natural protection the site provides a state-of-the-art landfill includes an engineered system consisting of a protective polyethylene liner a system to remove leachate and a clay barrier to get an idea of what an engineered landfill looks like, we went to James River in Berlin, New Hampshire. Trucks deliver the sludge to the landfill site where it is compacted. Leachate from the sludge moves downward. It is collected in perforated PVC pipes, and it can't travel farther downward because of the 80 mil thick plastic liner. 
There's also a three-foot barrier of clay as added protection. The leachate then flows to a pond which is also equipped with a protective liner. Tank trucks take the leachate back to James River's wastewater treatment plant for final treatment. The Berlin landfill is considered a model of state-of-the-art technology. It's had no adverse impact to the surrounding environment. Test wells are installed all around it for regular sampling of water quality. The West Old Town landfill will look much the same as this. This is an as yet unused portion of the Berlin landfill. You can see the black polyethylene liner covered with sand. The drainage pipes are buried in the sand. What's created is an impermeable basin into which sludge is deposited. We want to keep that, that layer of thick soil, very impermeable soil, which this site has 21 to 77 feet. We want to keep that there. So then what you'll have is these banks that go up. Ted O'Canna says because the landfill will be far in the woods, it will be virtually unseen. As in Berlin, the actual landfill will be surrounded by a fence. But the rest of the property will be as accessible for recreation as it is now. This is James Rivers' environmental engineer, Wendy Porter. We believe that it will not have a major impact on the quality of life of, of the nearby neighborhoods. The facility is set off all the roads at quite a distance. Um, it is a very remote location. Our operation will tend to be a quiet operation compared to other industrial operations. Porter says the sludge, which is mixed with wood chips, does not smell. Indeed, a visit to the Milford landfill bears that out. She says on average, 20 trucks per day will be in and out of the landfill normally between 7 a.m. and 4 p.m. During certain times of the year, those hours may be extended. The route of travel is Route 43 from the mill to Interstate 95. Off at the Alton exit, Route 16 for a short distance, then to the landfill site. Because the site is set deep in the woods, noise is expected to have little impact. What about reports of trace amounts of dioxin in the sludge? There is dioxin in our, in our sludge, trace quantities of dioxin in the range of, in parts per trillion ranges. A part per trillion is one second in the last 32,000 years. The dioxin content of our sludge, the latest results since the mill has um, pursued its dioxin reduction strategies, is in the 5 to 15 parts per trillion range. Um, that level is below the level that is allowed for, for spreading of, on agricultural land. The overriding reason for choosing the West Old Town site is that it meets environmental regulations. The soil characteristic and the geology of the site will, will allow for the maximum protection of the groundwater. Combine that with the engineered system, composite liner system of the landfill, and you have your extra assurity of groundwater protection for this facility. James Rivers, vice president at Old Town, J.W. Griffith, understands there will be many questions. And we're committed to uh, install uh, the proper technology and, and minimize any impact to the uh, people who live in the area. We want to be open to uh, hear their concerns and we'll work with them to address any concerns that they have uh, concerning this landfill and its location. Before anything happens at this site, more than a half dozen government agencies will examine the company plan to make sure that it's okay. James River has a commitment in this project and in all its operations to meet state and federal regulations. And just as important, James River is committed to this community, committed to making sure that you know all of the facts about this project. That is why James River has prepared this program. I'm Patsy Wiggins. If you have questions about the West Old Town proposal, we invite you to call the mill. Environmental engineer Wendy Porter will be available to help you with your questions. So don't hesitate to call during business hours, 827-7711.